FB. Today we're going to be doing a semi, a little semi post review of my Aura Loa canvas. I'm not completely done it. As you can see, I'm not completely done it, but I wanted to do a semi post review or semi completion review because people have been asking me how my Aura Loa is going. And because it is kind of a new company, they want to see the quality. They want to see how the drills look when they're down on the canvas. So I decided I would do this before finishing my canvas so you guys can see it in progress. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you are new here though, I'd love it if you join my hive. I post diamond painting videos on an almost daily basis. All you have to do is tap, gently tap that subscribe button, tap it like you would tap someone's butt. This is called Namaste, Namaste from Oraloa. So I'm done this bottom half. And I've done most, the majority of her face, so we can look at that rendering. This is a round diamond painting. It measures 57 by 85 centimeters. At the top of the canvas, we have the Oraloa logo. And on the left-hand side, we have the schematic. On the right-hand side, we also have the schematic, which is helpful because this is a big girl. She's a big, giant painting. And on the bottom left, we have the Oraloa logo and their social medias. And at the very bottom, we have Laura Philippon, and then the measurements of the canvas. So I really liked the, working on this. It was really fun. I'm not done it, obviously. I have put it aside to work on my Drills and Chills canvas, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. I really like the quality of the drills. It's really good. And it's, so I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of tired of big canvases in this one. It is again, 57 by 85 centimeters. So I am kind of like, I don't know, burnt out from working on this one. I only have like a few, like if you can see here, I only have a little bit left to do. So I am going to finish this one after I'm done my drills and chills canvas, but I figured, yeah, let's film a, a video so you can see my progress. So I like down here, these are tattoos from, I can see from the original like artwork, these are tattoos. So I really like how these turned out. Um, her skin, I like her skin tone. It, I think it, the color really matches the, the original piece of art. Uh, the butterfly in the top right hand corner, left hand corner is, I like how you can kind of see it. And this is definitely going to be one of those canvases where you need to stand back a little bit because if you look up close, it looks kind of, I don't know, not pixely, but it um, definitely like to get the contour of her face and stuff. If you look up close, you it looks better when you stand back a little bit. So I have, let's take a look. So you can see that the drills, um, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to diamond painting, so don't judge my my crooked drills or anything but they they are really great quality lots like not a lot of trash or anything like that lots of really good drill quality um you can see in her hair over here i don't know if you can tell on camera but over here there are some ab's in her hair or the feathers in her hair there's some ab's um where else were the other ab's Maybe I haven't put them down yet. I don't even remember, but I do like, I like how the rendering is coming out. I do like working on this canvas. I think it's called a soft lint canvas. It's not like super soft or anything, but it is pretty soft. Like you could rub it against your face and it would be nice. Um, maybe don't do that, but let's see. What else can I tell you about it? Um, the, the drill field is really clear. So when I was working on it, I didn't have any trouble seeing the symbols or the numbers, whatever it was. And I just like, I like that it is a good mixture of color blocking and confetti because I really like confetti or color blocking, but doing a whole canvas where it's all color blocking can get really boring. So her face was a lot of color blocking, but there was still lots of confetti to keep me interested in this painting. And like I said, I'm not done. So we, if we move down here, we can see someone else had a question if, from my previous video, they asked if there were guide circles. If you look up close, there are no guide circles. So even though there's no guide circles or training wheels or whatever you want to call them, it was really easy to figure out where the drills go, like just centering them over the symbol. And as you can see, this the 
drill field is very clear. No issues whatsoever, like I said, of reading what symbol is which. And you can see there's like, I'm going to be done this really quickly after I'm done my drills and chills canvas because there's a lot of color blocking left to do at the top. So it should go by really fast. I still have part of her hair to be done. And we can take a closer look at her face. So I really like the contrast in her face. I don't think it's too harsh or anything. I think it fades in nicely. Like there's some dark and then it goes lighter. And there's some highlights on her face. So there's this part is made with lighter drills. And on her eyes, there's lighter drills as well. I don't really know if you can tell by looking through the camera, but I really like how this is coming out. I am um, expecting three more canvases. They should be arriving this week from Oraloa. And just to let you guys know, I am an Oraloa ambassador. If you do want to order from Oraloa, you can use this code, which I'll put on the screen, and you can save 10%. I do believe they are having a sale right now, so make sure you go and check them out. I don't get anything if you do use my code, but I would appreciate it if you do, and you can save some money. There's some butterflies that I still have to do up there. There's this butterfly. I really like how that turned out. It's not too... Like, it doesn't take away from the main picture, which is this girl who's staying or praying, whatever you want to say she's doing. I love the flowers. I think they turned out really nicely. I like the detail in her, the tattoos, like I said. And her hair is just magical. It's very nice. I wish, the one thing that I wish, like, so far is that I wish there were more ABs. Like I said, there were some green ABs in her in the hair the feathers in her hair but I wish there was more ABs throughout like maybe in the flowers you can always add ABs but I'm not really one to bougie up as Abigail Marie would say bougie up a canvas I'm just kind of like okay I'll just go with it because literally when I'm done a canvas it just goes back in the box and sits on the shelf I don't really know what I'm going to do with this one when I'm done but for me it's just the whole process of diamond painting and yeah, I don't know what else I can show you guys. If there's anything in particular you want to see about this canvas, leave a comment down below and I can maybe post something on my Instagram or something like that. But there she is. I'm not done her, obviously, but I wanted to give you guys a, a review or share my experiences with you while I'm working on it. I will come back and do a, a longer video, a more thorough post review once I'm actually done her. But there she is. Let me know if you have comments. Leave them down below. What do you think of this? Have you ordered from Oraloa? Do you like the quality? Let me know. And if you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on an almost daily basis. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!